Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Indy. I'm Maya Asusena. I'm an independent artist and I am your host. And I have the distinct honor of sitting here with one of my best friends, Mr. Christian Verhallen, who is a guitar player, a songwriter, a, mu a music producer, as well as a booking agent. <laughs> yeah. Multifaceted, folks. But the thing I wanted to talk with Christian about today is how, how he produced an independent CD from beginning to end in six months, okay? So we have a, an artist, a fellow uh, artist friend named Kendra Ross that you also write with. Sure. And like, what was the experience? Was that a goal to try to have it done within six months? It was, uh, we did um, the backing tracks first, like most recordings. Uh, and once we had that, we knew we had something that we could work with. Uh, so we went ahead and scheduled the CD release show five months later. We knew that within five months' time, after having after having the initial backing tracks done, we knew that we could get in time for the overdubs, all the editing, all the mixing, the mastering, and the manufacturing. Okay, so when you say backing tracks, um, was this a live band-based project? Yes. So you mean that the rhythm section went into the studio and had tracked live version, you know, live exactly. basic tracks for for how many songs? It was 10 songs. 10 songs, okay, cool. So you, in a sense, you gave yourself a goal to reach by setting up the release party. It, it, exactly, yeah. we knew we knew that if we had a CD release show, that everything had to be done in that amount of time. And so the way we did it was you work backwards from the CD release date. Uh, you know that one month before the release date, you have to send off uh, for manufacturing. Uh, then we wanted a month prior to that to have enough time for mixing and mastering. Mastering you're looking at about a week maximum. Could, you could get it done in a couple days, but leave yourself a week just because. Uh, so you have at least three full weeks of mixing. Mixing is always going to take longer than you think. Mm -hmm. It's always going to take, and no matter what, it's no matter tedious. how well planned it is, uh, you're going to still be adding things at the last minute, and that's just part of the process of making an album. Um, so I knew uh, with that amount of time, I knew that I still had three months to do all the overdubs and all the editing, which is, again, more than enough time. Uh, but you're also, you also want that lead time in order for all the promotion that needs to be done, uh, hiring a publicist, uh, doing photo shoots, and all the other things that go into the process of releasing an album. Okay, so now, as the producer, I mean, because you have a lot of skills and knowledge of the industry, but as producer, would you say that you focused primarily on the music and then the artist was focusing primarily on the promotion and the artwork. Absolutely. So you kind of had to work in tandem with each other, am sure. I right? Okay. Yeah. So what took the longest amount of time for you in terms of the process? Was it the were, were, was it the overdubs or was it finding your sound as a producer? It was the editing, I think, uh, took up the most time. Uh, we encouraged a lot of jamming and so it was a matter of narrowing things down and choosing what we wanted for you know which section of each song there were multiple takes of every song and so just trying to get the best of everything put it all together make it sound nice and tight okay cool um and then the cool thing about the cd is that she also had special guests on it as well so it wasn't like some basement quality recording it actually you know received an award right sure. what was the sure. award that the she won uh best new artist at the soul tracks which is an, a national um, uh, award uh, uh, ceremony that acknowledges independent artists in the U.S. Now, what about the budgets it takes to do something like this? I mean, you had to really probably partner up in a lot of ways, right? Like, yeah, there was, um, she had had it very uh, all planned out, in fact, had it all written out. Um, because like a lot of independent musicians, she had to go to people for money. Uh, and whether it's family, friends, fans, uh, or investors, however you do it. Uh, so she had a, a whole thing planned out as far as what she had planned on for the recording, for the publicity budget, for photo shoots, um, and, and, and everything that goes along uh, with, with the process. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. So um, I think the thing that probably helped to make things run smoothly is that there was pre-planning before the process even started. Sure, sure. So I think that's got to be part of the process is the having a vision and, and therefore when you start the clock, 
your vision is already in position. It's not like a free form thing, but you actually came in knowing this has to get done, this has to get done, this is how much I need. Even if it's a bare minimum, this is what I'm trying to exactly. achieve to get it done. All right, cool. So how much of her income, uh, not income, but how much of Kendra Ross's um, budget do you think that she was able to acquire from supporters, you know, in ratio to her, how much she had to put in herself? Um, it was a decent amount, um, but I also know that, I mean, she even took on a second job. Uh, during that process just to help pay for the initial sessions things like that so you know uh, a lot of times and I know Maya stresses this a lot on these uh, videos is that it's a, a lot of sacrifice it's just a lot the of sacrifice. dedication and the conviction I mean conviction sure. is one of the things that gets things done you know um, Wow so that's pretty fantastic <laughs> sure sure um, one thing I'd like to add because I think it's it's such a great quote especially for independent musicians um, is that they say the hardest thing about being an artist is letting go of your work and it's when you know you finally say okay it's done the world can hear this now or the world can see this now um, that's the hardest thing about being an artist and it's true because you can tinker away for months and months and months I think we all know uh, so many people uh, who, have, who have done this who have you know say oh I'm gonna release this album this year and then it's next year and then it's next year and then, you know so it's a matter of setting firm deadlines uh, and meeting those deadlines mm. and uh, especially for like a CD release show I mean you're gonna sell more CDs uh, at that show than you will for a long time you know it's uh, we all know we sell the most CDs at our shows uh, and that's just the way it works uh, publicity and everything comes afterward so you want to energize your base uh, your main fans and so to have them come and hear that music at that show and get them excited get them to buy the CD get them to buy any sort of merchandise or anything else and then they'll help spread the word as well which is another thing that people have mentioned a bunch of times is is energizing your fan base and getting them to spread the word getting them to want to spread the word for it you don't even have to ask they will want to so in other words you know you don't have to have a hundred thousand dollar budget but having a supportive team and crew around you having a vision and a plan and and basically being committed to expediting the plan as you you know agree to so that people can stay focused around it because people will lose focus if you continue to spread out and 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 keep Absolutely. breaking your dates and all that kind of thing well i'm so so amazing to have your professional sure. you know sharing sure. your professional insight on this everybody this is christian verhallen producer guitarist songwriter and also person who was able to help produce the CD from beginning to end within six months. Check it out.